Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. We are up earlier than I ex expected or wanted to be. Oh man, um, we went to bed uh, not not perfectly on time. We were, went to bed a little bit late last night, but we figured, you know what, it's all right. We can just sleep in just a little bit on Monday and that'll be fine. And then uh, this morning, Kepler uh, jumped up on the bed and he was just in a mood. It was probably about 6.30 a.m. Um, and he was just, he gets into this mood where he's just like super, super lovey. And it comes out of nowhere. And he just starts purring and marching and he wants you to touch him and pet him. And it's so cute, but it does like wake you up. <laughs> so all of a sudden I, you know, I'm awake and he's like up next to me, curled up next to me, like rolling and trying to get me to pet him. So I'm like, oh, good, you know, good job, buddy. So I'm petting him. And then I'm I'm trying to get him calmed down enough that he'll just kind of sleep next to me. And it's just about happened. It's taken like half an hour of him just purring nonstop. And I'm like, okay. And then we hear the trucks. <laughs> like the room is 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 almost almost vibrating, and you just hear this like <laughs> And I'm laying there, and I can just tell that Mao has to be awake. And I'm like, what is that? And she's like, I think they're they're working on the, the trees and stuff back there again. And um, how long has this been going on, Mao? It was happening all last week. So, but only for like the last week or so? Yeah. Okay, well, they're doing... Um, like it's gonna be hard to see back there, but through the trees and stuff, they're they're starting to tear stuff down over there. I believe that they're gonna be putting in like more um, houses and everything. So like like you can see back there, the trees are starting to get thinner, and uh, I think that's what's happening. Is they're just doing some work. And what's funny is that this went on for like twenty minutes, and I was like, you know what? Let's just get up. <laughs> Let's just get up. Let's let's start our day early. Um, if we have to, if we have to take a nap, then we will. And now that we're up, there is no more noise. So Mouse speculated that maybe it was some of the trucks like hauling away the trees. So they'll probably be back, and there'll probably be more noise because there's been a good bit of noise over the last week. But um, yeah, they started uh, nice and early, seven a.m., and that means that we are not going to be able to continue resting but you know if we need to we can take a nap this just is exciting now we get to start our day early yeah it you know it, it, exciting turn the light on here yeah a little bit of light i'm actually really impressed with mallory because um she never went back to sleep today I was, I was genuinely impressed. We got up and she had a cup of coffee and I had a cup of coffee and I was finishing my coffee and I was like, I'm getting tired. And she's like, I do not want to go back to sleep. She's like, I want to push forward. She said, I'm going to have another cup of coffee. Are you going to have another cup of coffee? And I was like, I'm going to have a nap. <laughs> so I took a nap and then I felt better. Mao pushed forward with two cups of coffee. Um, I've talked a little bit before about uh, caffeine with her like she cannot have caffeine after 12 noon if she does she just can't sleep it's impossible but if it's before noon she can have it and apparently she's willing to to have two cups of coffee so fingers crossed she sleeps okay tonight I, I think she will because we had it pretty early but still I get a little concerned because um caffeine really affects her it doesn't affect me hardly at all. Um, I can have a cup of coffee right before bed, and I can sleep just fine. So um, hopefully she'll sleep okay. That would be ideal. Uh, so I've been taking care of a few different things today. One of them probably looks stupid, but it was actually really important. Behind me is the DK Bongos drums. And you're like, why is your monitor on bongos? Okay, so... A few days ago, um, I did the vlog where well, I was actually just editing it. Yeah, uh, I was doing the vlog where uh, we put the new cylinder in um, to the chair and it raised the chair up. 
And when we did that, it really spurred me to, to try and get the monitor height exactly where it needed to be because historically it's been too low. So, you know, I, I sat up nice and straight in my chair you know, trying to position myself exactly, like ergonomically, how you should, you should sit in order to be, to, to not <laughs> ruin your, your back. And, uh, you know, that, that put the, the need for the monitor to be, you know, a whole lot higher. And I was looking through and, you know, we don't have a whole lot of, like, books. <laughs> At least sturdy books. You really need, like, really big, thick books here. We got plenty of, like, magazines and player's guides. But you probably shouldn't balance a monitor on them. So uh, I went into the, the closet and I saw the bongo boxes there and I was like, that actually looks like it's probably about the right height and it seems to be a pretty good height. Now, does it, is it look really tall in the air? Yeah. Yeah, it does. And that's because it is. It's very high in the air and um, it's a little weird to get used to. And then the other thing is that like I have the camera mount behind it for um, first 20 streams and also Morning Mario. And obviously that's way too low now. Um, and then the bigger issue is, is how low the laptop is, because whenever I'm editing, that's the screen that I'm looking at, and it's much, much lower. And I could get the other bongo uh, box, since we have two, and I could put the laptop on it, but that's still not ideal, because sitting under the laptop is a hard drive, so then the hard drive would be on the box. And then also, the, the dongle over here that connects to the laptop is like touching the desk, which is helping to support it. If that wasn't there, then it would just be dangling, and that's probably not ideal long term. So, but also I've talked at length about having about the fact that having a laptop with a, bu a bunch of dongles is probably not great either. I've made it work for three and a half years, but um, my next computer will be a desktop for for sure. Anyway, at least I'm like well on the road to getting all my ergonomic stuff figured out. I thought I was going to have to raise the uh, the desk, and I don't think I need to. I don't think I do. I, I don't know if uh, if I end up having to raise these, then I might. But right now, I, I feel okay. I, I know that how I have everything set up right now is going to ultimately be temporary, because at some point I'm going to have to get you know a, a solution figured out for... You know this but for right now this is forcing me to like sit better and that's good um, this is a little uncomfortable because it's like I have to you know force myself to sit upright but I also know that if I want to continue to get older and not have back problems I have to like I got a nice chair and that's good but if I'm not sitting in it correctly then that's not doing me any you know it's not doing me any favors so I'm trying to make sure that I'm really doing this correctly Anyway, more stuff tomorrow, and, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully no naps, ideally. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we?